had nothing for myself. I was so busy working and pushing. Um, I just started thinking, what about me? What do I want to do? Um, my children were in London. My older children couldn't see them. My mum, you know, was isolating because she was uh, on the list of taking food and leaving out the door. Just seeing her through the window was so hard. Um, so I think, and I just started to think, what do I want to do? I want to do something for me now. I want to do what I want to do. So I actually resigned from my post. It was really scary. Um, but I think going back into lockdown, I don't feel scared this time. And I feel reassured because I've learned a lot more about myself and who I am. When it started, I felt like it was, it was uh, I used to call it was happening, the great pause. Um, I mean, and then remember, remember hearing about uh, how uh, birds were returning to areas that they hadn't been in, that the water was becoming clear that emissions had dropped significantly in various parts of the world. It was almost like the, the world was just saying stop and pause. And, and when that pause happened, um, life started to reappear. Mm. Um, it started to regenerate. You know, I've seen the side effects of it firsthand on other people, you know, um, both the mental health aspects as well as, you know, the actual COVID and, and other, other, you know, other problems that people are getting, you know, in terms of health. So, um, yeah, I, no, I think it, uh, I just, I just hope we do get back to some kind of normality in the spring, really. Um, I think that there will come a tipping point where people just say, do you know what, you know, we're going out because, um, we can't live in fear. Purpose, identity, isn't it, as well? That, you know, the, the, the professional mask or badge or uniform or whatever we put on to go to work, it's kind of a defence, isn't it? You know, and then we stripped all that off in the lockdown and people were having meetings in pyjamas, you know, or at least in pyjama bottoms. And I, I think, it, I don't know. Yeah, I do think it has a... I suppose, are we, are we fulfilled with the purpose that we thought we were, the path that we were on, that we'd kind of, is it what we really wanted? I don't know. I think it's, asked, I think it's opened up a lot of big questions for a lot of people. My daughter, stepdaughter who lives with me, um, broke her hip for the second time in January and was in hospital leading up to, um, to lockdown. And we actually discharged her. The, the like about three days before the official lockdown came in because we didn't know what else to do but that's meant that she's had absolutely no follow-ups there's been no physio there's been absolutely there's been no ot and actually it's had quite a she, she's not weight bearing still it's had quite a detrimental effect on people and yet the sky man can come into our house and and sort my sky out but a physio can't come in and do something that's really important. And I find that really odd. <laughs> I found that really odd and really difficult to kind of get my head round.